Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Morning Coffee Scriptures. Please share my videos with all your contacts to touch lives and help me to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, Morning Coffee Scriptures for today. Paracopy we are today, Numbers 13, chapter 17 to 29. And I read, When Moses sent them to explore Canaan, he said, Go up through Negev and on into the hill country. See what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak, few or many. And uh, you can finish the other. The, the, the topic today will be the spies in city rebel. The spies in city rebel. Moses decided what information was needed before the people could enter the promised land. And he took careful steps to get that information when you are making decisions or assuming new responsibilities. Remember these two important steps. Ask yourself what you need to know about the opportunity and then obtain that knowledge. Common sense is valuable. Aid in accomplishing God's purposes. God told the Israelites that the promised land was rich and fertile. Not only that, that, he promised that this bountiful land will be theirs. When the spies reported back to Moses, they gave plenty good reasons for entering the land. But guess what? But they could not stop focusing on their fear. Talk of giants descended of Aknan and fortified cities made it easier to forget about God's promise to help. Like what we're going through right now with the fear of unknown, with the, with the pandemic and uh, with all sorts of problems and struggle that uh, a lot of us are going through. And we forget where God has brought us from. We forget that we don't look like what we've been through. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to someone. We easily forget what God has done for us when, when we don't think of, uh, about, when we start prayer, uh, uh, thinking so much about our problems our conflict, our struggles. And that's what is happening here. So they, they made it easy to forget about God's promise to help. When facing a tough decision, my brothers and my sisters, um, child of God, don't let the negatives cause you to lose sight of the positive. Rewind joy. When facing a tough decision that you face, everybody, when you're living in this world, one way or the other, you're going to face uh, tough decisions. Even as I'm talking to you, you're listening this early morning. I know you're facing a, a tough decision or you're about to face a tough decision or it's on his way you're facing a tough decision because as long as you live in this world, problem and trouble will knock at your door. So just because of that, that's why God gave us the word of God and give us money, coffee, scripture to, to keep us abreast and keep us ready for what we're expecting. So when you're facing those negatives, causes and problems, Make sure those facing that tough decision, don't let the negatives cause you to lose the positives. Weigh both sides carefully. What did I say? Weigh both sides carefully. I'm teaching today. Don't let potential difficulties blind you to God's power to help. And his promise to guide. Hallelujah, somebody. Say that again, Joy. Don't let potential difficulties, my brothers and my sisters, blind you to God's power to help and his guide or his promise to guide you. Prayer. Dear God, create in me a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your praises or take your Holy Spirit from me. Oh God, please, I beg you, help me to go through bad times and suffering, painful times in my life. Believe in your word that my suffering will produce perseverance and character and hope. And hope will not disappoint me because you have poured out your love into my heart by the Holy Spirit whom you have given me in Jesus Christ's marvelous name. Amen. Amen. God bless you mightily. Have you talked to Jesus today? Have you read your Bible? Hmm. 
Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. This is Reverend Joy Angulimwachuku, and I will see you the same station, the same time tomorrow. God bless you now. Bye. I appreciate you watching, and remember, we are not just telling stories, but we are changing lives. And when you share my videos, you are helping to change lives too. So start a watch party on Facebook. And because the support you all show helps to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Also, subscribe and like to the YouTube link above. And follow us on Facebook.com slash Divine Source of Christ, Twitter.com slash Divine underscore SOC, and Instagram.com slash Divine Source of Christ. And check out our new website on the link below. Thank you.